Hello and welcome to this lesson. Uh, let's talk about salts. Recall in Form 2 Chemistry, uh, we discussed the topic salts, uh, where uh, we look at so much to do with the solubility of salts and how to prepare different salts by simply studying the different methods that are used to prepare salts. Let us start at this lesson by defining the word salt. So salt is simply an ionic compound formed when a cation removed from a base combines with an ion derived from the acid. So, for example, if we have hydrochloric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide, then the cation from the base is sodium ion combining with the anion from the acid and the two will give sodium chloride salt when an acid reacts with a base hydrogen ion in a base Sorry, hydrogen ion is uh, or are fully or partially replaced by metal ion. So the hydrogen ion in an acid get partially or wholly replaced by a metal ion which can either be from a base or simply even a metal and this also can be ammonium radical now we can have an acid such as sulfuric 6 acid reacting with the ammonium sulfate 
Now, or sulfuric six acid and uh, ammonium hydroxide. So what will happen? The ammonium ion from the base, that is ammonium hydroxide, will replace the hydrogen ion in the acid. So that the sulfate ion combines with ammonium ion to form ammonium sulfate salt. So the salt in question is ammonium sulfate. Then finally plus water. Let's discuss precipitation reactions. A precipitate is an insoluble solid that separates out from a solution uh, during chemical reaction. From uh, a solution during chemical reaction. For example, when lead to nitrate is added to sodium sulfate, Of course, sodium sulfate solution, a white solid is observed. This is the so called white precipitate. And this is due to the equation below. So equation for that formation is as follows. Lead to nitrate aqueous reacts with the sodium sulfate, also a soluble salt to give a precipitate and that is lead to sulfate plus sodium nitrate. Now this is the white precipitate. To balance the equation, we have there two. Then our equation is just fully balanced. So the white solid that is observed during this reaction, we have said, is due to formation of lead 
to sulfate. Let's have a summary of some precipitation reactions. Summary of uh, precipitation reactions. So we want to have sort of a table for the summary of the reactions. First column. Simply a summary of uh, precipitation reactions. Sodium chloride. Sodium carbonate will be there. Then we'll have sodium sulfate. And then that is a colon. So this is the table that you want to use for the summary. First column, that is for another cut iron, cut iron, cut iron, that is for another cut iron. Now, the first one we have, the first column. Solution containing then sodium chloride, sodium carbonate, sodium sulfate, and finally we have sodium sulfate the first one is lead 2 iron barium iron magnesium iron calcium zinc and uh, copper two ions when uh, a solution containing lead two ion for example lead two nitrate is reacted with sodium chloride there is formation of uh, a white precipitate And the white precipitate is of uh, lead 2 chloride. It also forms a white precipitate of uh, lead 2 carbonate with sodium carbonate. Same to white precipitate with uh, sodium sulfate 
and that is of lead to sulfate. The last one also gives a white precipitate. Barium, iron, and uh, sodium chloride will give barium chloride, which is a colorless solution. But under observation, we write no precipitate. That is no precipitate. With the sodium carbonate, it forms a white precipitate. Sodium sulfate, that one also forms white precipitate of barium sulfate. And finally, white precipitate of barium sulfate. Magnesium. Magnesium chloride is a soluble, so no white precipitate. Magnesium carbonate is insoluble, that is white precipitate. Magnesium sulfate is a in is soluble, sorry, so no precipitate. Magnesium sulfite is soluble. Uh, but that depends fully on uh, uh, what uh, we are using. So the observation will rest on uh, the experiment. And that is forming no precipitate. Calcium. Calcium chloride is soluble, no precipitate. Calcium carbonate precipitate, so that is white precipitate. The next is a calcium sulfate, slightly soluble, so that is precipitate, white precipitate. Then calcium sulfate, that is also white precipitate. Zinc. Iron, zinc chloride is colorless, so no white precipitate, simply no precipitate. Zinc carbonate is a white precipitate. Zinc sulfate, no precipitate, because that is soluble salt. Zinc sulfite is a white precipitate. Copper 2 ion. Copper 2 chloride is colorless, so no precipitate. Copper 2 carbonate, white precipitate. Copper 2 sulfate, no precipitate. And finally, Copper 2 sulfite will give a yellow precipitate. So when it reacts with sodium sulfite, it gives a precipitate. So we can see from the above that soluble salts can be used to precipitate the insoluble salts. And we have seen to precipitate other soluble salts, and we have seen in our table.
Now, that is all about precipitation reactions where we have realized how exchange of anions take place and that results into formation of precipitates. However, there are some cases where there is formation of a colorless solution.